1840, the continent of America, of North America, looked something like this. You had the 13 states of the US of A over here on the eastern coast, and then you had the Great Plains in the middle, the Rocky Mountains in the west coast over here. Now, the United States had here the permanent Indian frontier. The white Americans thought that this was the great American desert. There was nothing could grow there. Nobody could live there. But of course, there were people living here. They were the uh, Native Americans uh, living on the plains. Now, for the sake of this course, we are going to be focusing on the Sioux. S-I-O-U-X, spell it properly. Um, and the Sioux would wander the plains because they were nomadic. They would move where they lived. And they were nomadic, of course, because they lived off the buffalo. Now, the buffalo was essential to the survival of the Sioux on the plains. They used every single part of the buffalo. For example, they would use its horns uh, for arrowheads and the rest of its bones for arrowheads and needles. It would even use its uh, intestines to make buckets to carry water. Its hide would be taken from it and then its brains would be used to rub on the hide um, to make a leathery uh, substance for, to make teepees. So uh, incredibly important for survival, of course, for meat and everything you could want came from the buffalo. It also had a very important spiritual and um, cultural significance as well. Um, for a, a brave young warrior to prove themselves to their peers or perhaps to a potential partner, they would have to prove their bravery by going on a buffalo hunt. And the bravery and skill that they exhibited on the buffalo hunt will stand in good stead to, to rise um, in, in standings in the band that they were in. Also it had a great a spiritual significance um, because they, they believed that the buffalo um, came from the earth and were a gift from the earth and they would always do a buffalo dance um, after a buffalo hunt in order to give thanks uh, to the buffalo for giving up their lives so they could survive. 